the devil is in the detail, as they say, but there's some small detail about this car that has been bugging me for a while. If you look over here, lovely carbon fiber trim in the center console on the steering wheel. And when you look to the right, for some reason, it's black gloss. I'm not sure why that is, whether it's cost cutting. I'm not sure why they decided to go black gloss because I can't really see any black gloss anywhere else in the car. But now there is a solution. It's a very small detail, but I think it's going to make a big difference. There's a company in Korea called Indiv for individual, and they've actually used a BMW core. So it has all the ambient lighting and they've replaced the black gloss with carbon fiber that matches the weave correctly with the steering wheel and everywhere else in the car. This does fit not only the G80 and the G82, but also any G20 platform car that has that vent. This is a right-hand drive car, so it's available for right-hand drive, but if you have a left-hand drive car, they also make it for that. So we're gonna show you how to fit this. I'm looking forward to seeing it because I think it's a very small detail, but it's gonna make a big difference. Okay, so the trim itself is fairly simple to fit. You're gonna need yourself a trim tool, which you place in here and pop this trim out. You've got this tab here that clips into the side of the vent surround. So that's why you remove this part. Once you've done that, it's simply a case of just popping the vent out. Get trim tool under this corner. Pop that out. Pop it out of the top and then just wiggle it out. Underneath the vent, you've got two plugs here which need to be removed. And then you have to change over the vent itself to the new part. So with the assembly removed, I'm gonna to have to change over the vent from this one onto the new Indiv one. So to do that, you need to first remove this plug. You have to peel back this felt tape if you've got it. Revealing the tab. Be careful not to damage the wiring or the strip just underneath the tape. Use a very small flathead screwdriver. Just place it underneath the black tab and then wiggle the plug off. Being very careful to peel it away from the vent without damaging it. And then the next part is to pull these tabs off and then pull the vent out. You've got the two tabs at the top here. That's one. Be very careful not to damage the tabs as you're bending them. If you put a bit of pressure on the vent this side as you're putting the tabs up, it should push the vent in enough to stop the tab from reclipping in. That's the two on the top, and then you've got three on the bottom. Same process. There you go, that's all of them disconnected. So with those all, all the tabs undone, you can wiggle out the vent. Place that one to the side and pick up the Indiv one. We've got our plug here. Clip the vent back in. Carefully line up the tabs in all of their slots. Put the top ones in first, and then line the bottom ones up and then just gently wiggle the vent in to the click. Three at the bottom and two at the top. Put your plug back into the holder. So with the vent clipped in, just have a quick look around to make sure the tabs are in have a look from the front, make sure it's seated correctly and that the controls work. And when you're happy with that, we're gonna stick a bit of cloth tape over here, just like the OE one to protect it when it goes back into the dash. Stick that on there. Just run that over the side. Clip the plugs back in. Uh, 
and with those securely clipped back in, tape on the side, you can clip the whole assembly back into the dash. Remember to pull this out at the side when you do. Clip that back in. And that's the fitting complete. As Aston has shown you, it's very simple to fit, takes around 10 minutes and it's made a really nice difference to the inside of the car. It now matches the rest of the trim and I've got a really good contrast between the carbon on the steering wheel, the aluminium on the paddles, aluminium trim going around here and the carbon there. It just looks like it's complete now. Once I realised that was black gloss, it just kind of kept drawing my eye and I thought, why have they done that? But now it just looks all uniform and I think for a very small change, it's made a very large difference. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you wanna join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you wanna watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.